Dear smokers, please stop smoking. Especially if you plan on selling your electronics, because I smell it. I really do. And it's it's bad. I don't want to smell it. Um, we'll get to that. I gotta get most of this out of the house. It's, it smells terrible. I still smell it. Alright, so in here is power adapter. Ugh, it smells terrible. Good grief. I got. I don't know how I'm gonna get that smell out of there, but it's gotta go because this is this is too important for a product to be smelling like that for the rest of its life. And finally, here it is. Look familiar? Multifrac XS. Got this for seven hundred dollars plus fifty nine dollars shipping, and it smells terrible. Ugh. I gotta get this smell out of this. This is terrible. I forgot how to get that smell out. It's, it's bad. If you look it up online, you'll probably run into a horrible website that has instructions on how to deal with electronics that have a lot of cigarette smoke residue, period. Oh, I'm, I'm doing that like I'm talking into Google. Anyway, don't smoke. Please don't. And if you couldn't quit and have electronics that you're selling, they're gonna smell because you smoked. And the only solution <laughs> S -s solution. It's, it's, it's a pun. Anyway, you need a gallon of water, which is 3.87 something liters. That's water. You're gonna need, what you call it? White distilled vinegar, one cup. Hydrogen peroxide and salt, two teaspoons of each. And you're gonna stir that for three minutes. I've done all of that. And now you're gonna carefully wipe it down with your rag. And you're gonna do that two times a day, three weeks. I'm also going to leave that on top of this since it, it would fit right over it. And hopefully the smell will go right into it and it'll soak it up and the smell will go away earlier. I also sprayed that with Free Breeze while covering up the foam port that's on that side. Anyway, I'm gonna get this smell away because I'm real particular about smells. Ladies, don't, don't wear perfume, just wear deodorant. It, it works, trust me. Well, you can't tell me what to do. I have to wear perfume because I'm overweight. Okay, I understand that, I understand. Just don't use so much, that way it'll last. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the uh, plugs. I'm just gonna dip them. Uh -huh. Dip it in there like that. Everything but the plug. Dip it as low as I can get it. Okay, let this sit over there. And same with this. I'm a little worried about that part right here, so I'm not gonna put that out, you know, I'm not gonna do that. But I will put the rest of this in there. Hopefully all of it goes underneath. Good. Come on, there we go. Come on, go under. There you go. Alright, we'll hang that over. I'm gonna get a, another towel for those. Alright, so I'll let that sit there. Let that sit there separate. And then, so that's there, that's there. Put this here. All right, so now I got a towel underneath it, you know, just, just in case the rug gets hit. Now, the hard part, uh, this is too big. <laughs> All right, better. Take that in here, dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. Pick it out. Gotta wring it out. Oh, my hands are gonna smell weird. I should've wore gloves or something. Oh, they don't smell that bad. Not as bad as cigarette smoke. <laughs> Wipe the surface. No, I could have done right up here, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Turn this up. Wipe that surface. Okay, I'm gonna put it on top this time. Wipe this surface. Wipe the sides. Wipe this side. Wipe the back carefully. All right, so now that's gonna sit. Got a little dirt off it. That's good. So hopefully the smell goes away. And also hopefully you didn't notice that. Because I can't show you that. But I mean, this is still going to be under warranty. I mean, I don't really worry about Yamaha products. They don't usually give me problems. Anyway, there's only one way to battle smelly hands. You know, whether it's you know barbecue sauce or whatever. And that's this. Cinnamon bun. Oh yeah, it'll fix it. All right, while I open this box, I'm gonna tell you a little story about that whole situation there. So that's the motif rack, and from the unboxing of that, you know how it smelled. It smells so much better now. So, the only thing that's left that smells like cigarette is this little piece right here on the adapter, so I'm gonna treat that some more. But everything here smells fine, this smells fine, and 
of course that's the major reason why it doesn't smell like that. And then my back, the back of the, the rest of it here, it smells fine too. And how did I do that? Uh, I'll tell you over here. Well, open, open this box. Like I said, I was gonna open this box. So what I had to do was get a gallon of water, which was in that bucket. I think it was two, probably two cups of vinegar. And then, oh, let's flip this upside down. Let me show that side. Two cups of vinegar. Two tablespoons, table, yeah, table, yeah, tablespoons of, that's for me, salt, I guess whatever kind you want to use, and then two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. So, and then once you do that, you put it all in there, you mix it together, and you keep mixing and stirring it for about three minutes, and then you end up with that concoction that's in there. Now, you take a rag, a rag you don't care too much about, this upside down. Yeah. And then you soak the entire rag in the solution. Then you wring it out thoroughly. You gotta thoroughly wring it out. And then you wipe all the parts that can be wiped. Don't wipe, for instance, the board itself. Don't do that. I'll tell you another way to get that smell out. Um, you wipe the entire thing except the board. I recommend taking it apart, whatever it is, if you can. So you can dip the screws and everything in there. As long as you don't have them in there too long, they won't rust over. And once you've done that, you'll get rid of the smell on those, but it's gonna take, you don't just do it and do it over and over and over again repeatedly, you know, within an hour. This is gonna take weeks. Day one, do it twice a day. I recommend doing it right before you take a shower. That'll help. I haven't even talked about this yet. <laughs> we'll get to it. And then, one other thing you can do. Might as well talk to you now. Hold on. And then you can take a candle, get a candle you like the smell of, and put it under, you saw I had it set up, put it underneath it and just let the fumes hit the board. And slowly but surely, with the mix of that container being underneath it, of course I have this fan, I have that fan blowing in that direction and the fumes will go straight up into the motherboard and everything else. So that also helped in 24 hour treatment instead of you know every time I rubbed it down so do all those things and the smell will be gone within two weeks instead of taking you know three weeks because I got this stuff yeah last week I'm hungry you can hear my stomach can't you I'm talking over it anyway this thing as you probably could tell is a pro line I got a number for this thing I don't know it's a hundred bucks on eBay and it's a two-stage keyboard stand it's got two little grip things here it's got one on each side here then, most important feature, it's got this, this thing. And you can set up from here, that, tighten it. And then you can also adjust it. It's a bit higher than the thing, hold on. No, no, there we go. And you can also adjust it here, and then you can angle it downward. And of course you adjust that on both sides. What I like about this is A, it costs 100 bucks, and B, it doesn't have like a little pole piece here, which, uh, that's not cool. I want something that's steady. And all I gotta do is just... Oh, I guess I can keep that like that. Oh, wrong way. And then just undo this part. Yeah. That. I guess this way would be better. Yeah. Tighten that back. Same situation. Tighten this back. Oh, now you can't see what's going on down here. All right, and then even if you don't have anything, you know, the keyboard will have to stop like right at this point because these poke over. So there should be enough space for any keyboard. This thing is real big. But nice thing to adjust the, uh, the size, just pull this thing and it opens it. And it closes it. I can lay it all the way down to there. So I don't know how high that is. Let me. Grandma. Take tape measure. Let's see how high this is from the ground. So you can, so you can make plants. All right, so from the ground, I got 25 inches. That's two feet, one inch, right there. Let's go up one level. And go all the way up. This is level two. And we got, it's just over, it's just over 29, it's like 29 and a half inches exactly. So that's two feet, 5.5 inches. Hope you're paying attention. All right, we got the third level. I'll probably never use this level because I don't stand. Let's see, it's just over 33 inches, so that's two feet nine inches and a half exactly. Give or take, because this is a 
a carpeted floor. So, you know, if you're on a hard floor, it's gonna be more exact. Okay, we got just over three feet here. That's probably exact. And the last level, I think, I would hope. I wouldn't wanna go any higher than this. And it goes all the way up to 38 inches and a half. So that's three feet, 2.5 inches. All right. And this is solid, sturdy, and you don't have to put it together like the last one I had. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one at all. But I got this one. And it stows just like that. Nice. I like it. It's worth $100. I gotta get it. Sorry. You wipe the board entirely. Well, not the board. Again, not the board. Sorry. And we got, it's just over 25, or 29 inches. It's just over 29, it's like 29 and a half inches, exactly. 